Welcome back, Beaches, to some extra thirsty. Thank you so much for being here. Smash that subscribe button. We got five on the motherfucking clock. And you got your girl, Tess Hornaday, in tow. Yeah, a look at that hair blowing in the breeze. You're looking sexy, girl. Mmm, you look good. It looks good on you. Thank you so much for being here, fam. We have some nonsense. We got some nonsense today. You know, you, you know we do. You know we do. De I got your back. I got your back. Well, there have been some developments. Have been some developments with the presidential situation. Uh, Joe Biden picked uh, Kamala Harris as uh, his running mate. So I guess the Democrats are legitimately just giving up uh, until 2024, apparently. So I'll probably cover that in some red, white, and swole and my thoughts on the matter there. But not everyone is disappointed or frustrated in terms of the political spectrum for the same reasons as you might think. Now, what could those be? Papa Swolio, what are you talking about, bruh? What you talking about, you bearded fucking psycho? What are you talking about, bruh? What you talking about, bruh? Well, let me show you. Let me show you exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Erica Hart, she slash they. She, or, all right. <clears throat> or, or, ooh, these fucking pronouns. All right, she slash they. All right, I'm going to put this out there at the beginning. I don't know what the fuck this means. She, her? So I don't call you her. So her, I'll call you they, but you have she. Isn't it she, her? She, they. I... Fuck you. I'm, I'm so sick of this shit. Stop. In your name, she, they? No. If your name is Erica, I'm going to call you fucking Erica. And you're a she, okay? I, I, like, why does this have to be? I'm not gonna. God, man, enough of the virtue signaling in the header of your fucking, like, in your name. Enough, enough. That being said, I digress. Look, do it. You do you. She's doing her, or they's doing her. I don't. They's doing she, or I fucking. I don't know. I, I'm totally fine with people doing what they want, but enough. Literally, does it have to be in your Twitter handle? Does anyone give that much of a fuck? No, not really. Okay, so. They say, <laughs> and I thought to myself, why didn't he spit? Why didn't he pick Stacey Abrams? Oh, I had a complicated answer, but it really just boils down to colorism, colorism, and fat phobia being in everything. Leave it to Twitter to scrape up some absolute fucking shit. So this is what Stacey Abrams looks like. Ah, uh, wouldn't you know it? All right. Nice looking black lady. Nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with it. Um, so I guess she's black and I guess she's not super thin. I can't tell, but I mean, I guess by, based on what the person's post said, I mean, I don't really, I don't really know much about her, but I take it from the post that she's not, I guess, a fucking IFBB pro or whatever. Uh, so, oh, okay, all right. So let's go back to this post. So Joe Biden picked Kamala Harris. He didn't pick Stacey Abrams because it's colorism and fat phobia being in everything. Bruh. Full Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Erica, you're a she, they, whatever. You are Matt Damon. You are a full Damon. No. I mean, here's the thing. It's kind of... Joe Biden did say that he was going to pick someone, right? A female of color or something like that. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. That's a terrible reason to pick a candidate. It really is. It's a terrible qualification. Well, I'm only going to pick someone that is of darker skin or what, or a woman. How about picking the best fucking person for the position? And most people are laughing because most people agree he certainly did not. And I'll leave that up to you. I mean, you can drop a comment down below. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what you believe. I personally like to vote or I like to look at individual issues. I don't just jump on a team and just vote blindly. That's not how I roll. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So if someone isn't black, like 100% black and morbidly obese, like they're not good enough for you. They have to be really unhealthy and black. So we're trying to find... We're trying to gauge our candidates based on the worst, the worst metrics. Like Stacey Abrams, maybe she's a great candidate. You know, there are 400 million fucking people in the country. There's a lot of people that are better than Kamala Harris. There's a lot of people better out there. 
for candidates, even for presidents. Like there's a lot of people in, in this country that should be fucking in office, of, you know, that should be running. There are a lot of fucking quality people, but the systems don't allow for that. But fuck, this is ridiculous. This is nonsense. That's all I got to say. This is ridiculous. Please, enough with the bullshit. Enough with the fucking bullshit. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you soon. Peace. Skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm yeah. in my element, no Ollie's, you children pop.